four-wheel drive worldwide and we on time back with another video and man we got a little dino bro what you want bro chill out chill out bro, what chill you out, want chill man? out man i gotta tell y'all i gotta tell you to like and subscribe you gotta tell them that bro comments like i was subscribe, getting to all it, that man. bro bro that's the first all thing you right, should bro. say bro all right, bro. Get on somewhere, right, bro. bro. Get on just, somewhere. Just, just make sure you tell them right, that, bro. That, the algorithm. Anyways, the algorithm. man, it's real wheel drive, right, worldwide yeah, and on time, man. We got a little dog right, chest to see I'm how much. I'm, I'm out. I'm out, bro. Bro, leave, bro. You annoying. Damn, it's like I'm battling with myself. But we got a little dyno test going on, man. We finna see how much the horse uh, power going on for the uh, Dodge Charger Scat Pack wide body in the torque and just, you know, the baseline stuff about it on the dyno test. So let's get into this video. Scat A. It's a hot day to do this on, too. It's like 90s. Smoke show. So this is the screen right here. I don't know what none of this means, but it's gonna show power and torque in a minute. Man. Okay. Make sure I'm in the middle and we'll strap it down. Yep. So is there like a ramp rate that you have it on? For a ramp rate? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. You're gonna uh, do it in six gear? No. What gear are you starting from? Well, what, how many things do you think I have? You put it in six speed training? Oh, it's eight. Eight All speed. Right. It's eight speed module four, because I'll be in the middle. Okay. Yeah, some people do it in different um, gears. How much load you want to put on it? You're gonna put a lot more stress on it if you put it up in the right. gear. Mm -hmm. um, most likely in the gear. Oh, we'll see how today. All right. Maybe, maybe. That's the only thing I'm familiar with. Is <laughs> all this right here. Can't wait to hear what this thing sounds like. Cause I haven't really heard it. I haven't really heard my car other than me being in it. Yeah, the car <laughs> yeah definitely. For like a basic, isn't it? Is it true that you can add more horsepower if you add, add a, a air intake? Yeah, intake, the headers, your exhaust system will all make more power. Mm. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. First dyno test. right there.
still have this weird dip in the power right here where you could almost feel like cut the power down for a second. I don't know what that was all about. It didn't do it in fourth gear, only in fifth gear. So. Could there be something wrong with the car? I mean, no, it's still, it's still made really good power. Yeah. But it's weird how it like limited power in fifth gear right there. That was kind of odd. So it has limited power in fifth gear. Well, I mean, it's not bad power. But you see the torque up here? Yeah. It's really strong, the 4,000. And then right there, for some reason, it drops a bunch of torque and power right there. And that's nothing the computer related. So I could have done something better. All right. Okay, cool. I think I might have the slowest factory scan, I don't know. <laughs> no, that's normal. Uh, powertrain loss is pretty big on this thing. Uh, it's also hot today, and that doesn't help with power delivery. It's very hot, cold air makes more power. And that's definitely a computer thing that's doing it. So it makes peak torque at 4,070. Mm -hmm. But right there, every pole, the computer cuts power and torque down. So that's definitely a computer related thing. And if it helped that power up, it would have made more power, but it's limiting power. Uh. And I would guess that's computer related. Now, it might be from temperature. Uh, it could be- So what's this, uh, what's this right? What's this line? This is power. That one. Okay. The other line is torque. Okay. This is power. All right. It made 406 torque. 406 torque, ready. Only low revving engines will make more torque than power. Okay. You were in fifth gear, was it? Fifth gear. That's where I was more comfortable at? But that's still, that's still like So the paperwork's right here, 414 horsepower, 406 pounds feet of torque. Oh, service anti-lock brake system. If y'all got a dyno tested, any of y'all else that got a scat, let me know in the comments what y'all horsepower was pushing. Because mine is stock, everything's, you know, stock, nothing done to it. And that one, there's another dyno, which is the hub one, but I got the one where you roll on it. So, um... Yeah, man, I, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more, but you know, I just wanted to see what the numbers were like stock. You know, if I if I added an air intake or, you know, it's probably add a little bit more horsepower or a full bolt on, but you know, I I think my car's still fast, so I'm not really complaining. See y'all, it is off. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know if I should hit the gas ever since I got dang, did the dyno, man. It's hot out today, man. And he was, he was in track mode too. Uh, me personally, I don't really, I don't really like track mode. I, I like to stay in sport mode for some reason. I don't know why. I, mean, I, I ain't gonna cap. I didn't know what numbers to expect uh, for the dyno test and the and the scat. So comment down below what y'all thought it was, or what y'all familiar seeing with how, how much horsepower and uh, torque it has on the scat on the dyno test. Y'all go ahead, and let me know because I, I have no idea coming into this. I was just throwing numbers out guessing. So yeah, man, we got a little, uh, a little 417 horsepower. Uh, that's what we working with today. I ain't really no complaints about that, you know. Go ahead, y'all. Go ahead, and let me know what y'all see, you know, for the um, the horsepower. If y'all do the dyno test or know y'all numbers, just so we can uh, compare it and whatnot. But uh, for the the ABS light, that that only pumped on because uh, the front the front uh, tires, the wheels, it wasn't moving when it was doing the dyno test. So uh, that's the reason for that. The cold went away. Um, but yeah, man, the dyno test it was cool, man. I was. I, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was scared behind them tires, man. That thing was stupid loud. I'm thinking something, something bad about to happen or something, but it was all, it was a-okay. -okay. And uh, yeah, man, I haven't, I haven't seen nobody drop the dyno uh, test for a uh, charger in a while. And uh, there's, there's different types of uh, dyno tests too, but I did the one with the wheel on, which you spin the wheel. But I mean, yeah, everything was cool, man. And, everything everything was cool uh man uh y'all stay tuned for the uh if y'all got hellcast if y'all got hellcast red eyes they gonna have some stage kits coming out to get it tuned uh i think it's only two stage kits to get it tuned that the uh, dealerships are gonna be able to uh, have for you for the hellcats they just gotta wait for the california emission laws to pass in order for you to uh go ahead and get those tunes at the dealerships 
and it's under warranty. So that's another bonus too. You get a tune with under warranty. You can't get, go wrong with that. The computer he was talking about in the car, it, it like, so it, it has a limit on it. It's definitely pushing more than, than what it states, but it's just protecting it. But yeah, man, that's the dyno test on the scat, man. I'm, I'm happy I did it. I'm cool with it. Hope everybody doing all right, man. Taking care of yourselves. Um, yeah, but you know, we got some more content on the way, like always. You know, we're gonna keep running it up while the summer lasts, cause it's it's a hot one, man. It cools down, but you know, but cooler air is more denser, so that's why it's better to do like the dyno test when it's like not so hot outside. I wanna give a shout out to everybody that watched my videos and like and subscribe and all that extra stuff. You know, and go ahead and subscribe if y'all new to stay tuned to the community post where, I'm, where I explain and you know, it's just their posts and what's going on with my next upcoming video. Make sure I have the bells cut on. And man, I already got some stuff planned for the next videos, but if y'all got anything in mind, go ahead and comment down below. You know what I'm saying? Anything, anything for the people, man, people's champ. But yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and go to the crib, take care of some business. I hope y'all have a good and safe weekend. It's your boy, We Will Drive Worldwide on Time, deuces.